hi guys welcome back in this video we'll be learning another interesting topic inside python called converting .py file to executable file now you can ask me uh, why we have to convert our py file to the executable file executable file means .exe file okay see what happens actually whenever you implement any kinds of software so initially you write tons of code for that right and if i want to execute that particular software what i have to do first of all i have to create a virtual environment then i have to set up all the requirement packages okay then i can use your software like i can install it then i can execute your software in my system but let's say i want to share my software with any other person and they want to let's say, use my software but let's say they are not familiar with python programming so it's not possible like they will be setting all the projects and all they will be creating the virtual environment they will uh, install the anaconda and all right it's not possible as a user what you will do just try to uh, double click on my software and uh, they, they will use that uh, software okay that is the idea because you can see all the computer software we're having we have the executable file right so after downloading after installing it will get that executable file so we just need to double click on that software and we can use that particular software that is the idea so we don't need to install anything okay we don't need to install any kinds of package we don't need to install any kinds of let's say um, uh, anaconda right and we don't uh, open that particular code so we don't need to do anything only we just double click on that particular executable file and uh, we can use that particular software that is the idea okay so i'll show you practically this part i think then this uh, this would be clear so here we'll be learning uh, how we can convert any kinds of python file to the executable file let's say if i want to convert my software if i want to convert my code to executable file so that other people can use it without installing anything so they can use this particular uh, executable file to run my application so let's try to see the practical demo then i think this would be more clear so guys as you can see uh we had created one uh, project actually called jarvis system i think you remember so now let's see if i want to execute this particular jarvis system what i have to do i think you know first of all i have to open up my vs code here okay i have to open up my vs code here then i have to open up my anaconda prompt here okay i have to open up my anaconda prompt here then uh, i will just copy the path of this particular folder then I will redirect into this particular folder. <clears throat> okay. Now, what I have to do, I have to activate the environment. I think you know we have created a virtual environment. So, if I show you the environment, conda, env, a list. So, this is the environment we created, Jarvis system. I will copy the name of the environment and I will just activate it. So, conda, activate Jarvis system. Now, see, it is activated now i can easily now i can execute this particular application but let's say but let's say you are uh, opening this particular project for the first time what you have to do you have to create the environment this particular environment then inside that you have to set up all the requirements okay then you will be able to use my application for this you need anaconda for this you need python right for this you need let's say uh, uh entire system right entire system whatever system actually i'm having right now uh, but uh, it's not actually uh, possible to install everything okay for all the user now i'll just simply write python main.py now see good, good morning, morning sir. sir how are how you are doing you? i am I jarvis not tell me sir how can i help you hey jarvis what is the time sir the sir, time, time is 9 hours 55, 55 minutes, minutes and 12, 12 seconds. seconds okay please exit goodbye, goodbye sir. sir see that's how i can execute this particular application now you can see my project format is .py file because in .py file I'm having all the code, but I don't want to share my project with .py file. I don't want to share my source code with other people. Okay, so for this, what I can do, I can convert this particular .py file to executable file. That means .exe file. So for this, what you can do, see, I have given a guide already. Guide.txt file is there. So just try to open it and all the command I just mentioned here. Okay, what you have to do here. So the first thing, what you have to do, first of all, you have to install one package called py installer. With the help of py installer, will be uh, converting this .py file to executable file. So let me show you. So if I copy this particular command and let me execute in my terminal. For me, I already installed that. So it's telling requirements satisfied, but for you, it will install. First of all, just try to execute this command py installer main.py. So what will happen? It will look for main.py. Okay, it will look for your source code. Okay, source code. And this particular source code would be converted to executable file with the help of py installer. So if I show you, see if I execute this particular uh, command, see it is converting okay see it is converting so it will take some time after that you will see one executable file inside a 
dist folder now see two folders are created built and dist so this two folder would be automatically created and inside that you will see some of the uh, like uh, files some of the software files but i don't need all the software files see it's completed successfully now if i open this particular folder let's say if i open the build folder uh see inside build folder see inside build folder i'm having main file okay main file the main file i think you saw here this is my uh, like code main file now it has converted to dot exe file that is executable file now apart from that another folder is created called dist okay inside dist also you will see this particular executable file now see which main file you will be using the main file you will be using which is available inside dist folder so let me open the dist folder inside main i'm having one main exe file it's a exe file let me show you the extension property so it's an executable file right now now see i haven't opened any kinds of anaconda okay i haven't uh, let's say acti activated my anaconda let's say i don't have anything okay i don't have i don't have anything in my system now if i double click on this software so it will execute my application let me show you good morning, good morning sir. sir how are, how are you, you doing i am jarvis, jarvis tell me sir how can i help you hey jarvis what is the time sir the sir, time is nine hours, hours 59, 59 minutes and 34, 34 seconds. seconds what is your name my name, my name is Jarvis. Is Jarvis. Okay, Jarvis, please exit. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. sir. Got it. So, see, that's how actually we can convert any kinds of uh, Python file to exe executable file. And now I can share this particular file with my friends. They can use my application. So, I don't need to open my VS Code. I don't need to open my Anaconda, activate the environment, install all the requirements. Then I can use my software, not like that. I can share this executable file, they will double click it, they will use it. Like the way actually we use any other software, let's say I want to open telegram, I will just click on the telegram icon, it will open up my telegram software. Okay, so this is my own software we have created. So congratulations guys, so far you have created your own software. Okay, the project you have implemented, so you have also converted this particular project to an executable file. And that file, uh, now any anyone can use. Okay, anyone can use and going forward when whatever project actually you'll be creating try to convert all the project to executive executable file Okay, and you can share with your friends and family so that they can also use that particular software That's the idea, but one issue we'll see uh, see if I want to execute this main.exe So I need some more let's, let's say file. Let's say this file actually I need these are the file actually I need because this is the dependency Okay, this is the dependency file. Okay without that actually I can't uh, run this particular file so this approach is not good even i personally don't like it so if i only want to generate main.exe only one file okay only one file there won't be any kinds of dependency file for this you can use this command pi installer hyphen hyphen one file main main.py now let me show you so first of all let me just uh, delete these are the folder build dist this one i'll just try to delete these are the folders now i'll copy this command and here I will execute it right now. Now see again it is creating. So execution is done and it is completed. Now again let me open the folder. Now if I go to the dist. Now see only main uh, exe is there. Okay only main exe is there. Now let's see if I move this particular file somewhere. So I'll just let's say copy. And let's say I will keep it. Uh, so let's say I will keep it in my desktop. So here I'm going to paste it. So this is my uh, file. Now if I double click. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. How, are, how you are you doing? I am Jarvis. Jarvis tell, tell me, sir, me, sir. How can, how can I, help I help you? Hey Jarvis, what is the time? Sir, the sir, time, time is 10, 10 hours, 4 minutes, minutes and 41, 41 seconds. seconds. Okay, please exit. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. sir. All right, I think you saw the demo. Now you can use the software in the backend. Uh, so just try to execute the software and it will keep on running in your system. Okay, no need to open up your VS Code, Anaconda prompt, anything. Okay, it will, uh, it will keep on running. So yes, this is a very interesting concept inside Python and uh, it's like very useful. Whenever you will be implementing the software, you have to convert your software in an ex uh, executable file. That is the idea. So yes, this is all from this video. I hope you liked it. So thanks for watching the video guys and I will see you next time.